Good evening Capricorn. Welcome to my channel. I hope you're doing well. I'm doing my heart to heart uh, reading, which is a heart shaped spread. I'm using two oracle cards for the tips, the inner tip um, and the bottom tip. Tarot cards uh, on each side, the left hand side, the side of the heart is you and the right hand side is whoever the cards decide to point out to you. Uh, <laughs> even if you have someone in mind, uh, the cards might decide to show you someone else. So let's uh, dive in. I will pull uh, for this particular reading. Pop-outs would take too long for a setup. Children, your love life is being affected by children. The uh, both tips, the oracle cards become common energies to both parties, right? So that's always interesting. Let's draw out of the tarot. Seven cards on each side. I will tilt the camera this time. So maybe you can see um, a little bit of the shape that I create. And lastly, the bottom tip. <laughs> Which reads the game of love. Sorry for the glare. Okay, so on your side, you have the judgment. The Six of Cups in reverse, the Seven of Pentacles, the Empress in reverse, the Five of Pentacles in reverse, the Ace of Wands, and the Page of Wands. I'm going to start with you. <laughs> And I will probably start integrating the other side as well and, and bounce off <laughs> your person. <laughs> okay. I'm enjoying that um, the first two cards in the same position are um, the judgment on your side and the sun on the other. These are strong energies. Um, you know, you have the sun which raise, rises, sorry, here on the judgment and the way it's placed on the table, the trumpet is pointing to the sun. So it's almost like you're calling in <laughs> this very, um, I want to say prestigious personal personality person. Um, this feels like someone that you deem important, that you deem um, to be significant, special in your eyes. They have a lot of, in French we say prestance, it means um, I don't know the English translation to that, but it's a little bit like saying they have a lot of allure. Um, I don't know if that's allure in French, but I don't know if the right... They have presence, charisma. The kind of person you would notice coming in the room type thing, right? <laughs> but not necessarily out of sheer beauty, but because of what they exude. So your side is 
pretty much geared towards memories and I don't want to say wanting a second chance but you're all about courting this person you are about waiting around for the right opportunity to either talk to them approach them and if you already have contact with them i think i feel you would want to you're looking for the right opening to speak a bit more about how you feel what you think um how long it's been that you are that you've been interested or curious or even attracted. I don't know how far you want to go on that first conversation, but there's something about harboring um, mini memories with this person, right? Like, so all your mini encounters, I don't know the context of your um, acquaintance, right? Of how you know this person, but it feels like it's someone in your surrounding that you're you're familiar with, um, but you don't know them like deeply, and so you have these mini memories of you know, oh that day that they walked in or that day that you know they said this to me or these little things that are they belong to you. They're they're mostly your memories with this person. They're not really aware that you're building this stock of memories. <laughs> but um, it feels like it's interesting because all these mini memories, they're building up inside of you and they're wanting to grow, but you're having a hard time um, growing the relationship because you're pretty much all in your head about it. You know, the Six of Cups is reversed here. So, you have a lot of fantasy towards this person and you sort of are living out this relationship at the moment in your mind um in your heart obviously because you're really harboring feelings here but it's still very uh, it's virtual or it's not to the point where, you know, you could really say that you have a relationship with them. Um, they really feel like someone in your environment uh, that you'd be loosely acquainted with, you know. I believe they might know of your ex existence, but maybe they don't even, right? Maybe you've been formally introduced, but you don't necessarily either work closely with them or see them very often obviously not have any lengthy conversations with them that type of thing so it's leaving you um you know those lengthy conversations are not happening here like the page of wands here is telling me that <laughs> you're burning to have those conversations inside but you're burning inside to have those conversations but you probably have them <laughs> in your mind about what you would say, how you would say it, you know. Um, it's pretty much at that stage. I think um, you're somewhat affected about the fact that it's not yet um, a thing for you, right? Really? You're dying for this to start. You're very attracted here. I think um, have obviously spring uh, in mind here which would take us like <laughs> next year but 
I'm not really sure if it's really timing in terms of spring of 2023. Let's, um, what I like, you know, you have the Six of Cups in, in reverse here. You do have a page and you have an Ace. Those are all like young and fresh energies, um, somewhat uh, quote unquote immature, but not necessarily negatively, just, uh, you know, not yet fully formed and we did start with the children card so there's many ways to read this you could feel like when you're actually close to them you turn into a child right you like lose your cool you like you know you feel like giddy uh you might like do silly things uh without really wanting to because you know you're <laughs> <laughs> the typical like sort of reactions when you're in love and like you're not really too sure and you don't want to reveal too many like too much of you know your feelings um you all of that sort of awkward <laughs> moments and that's why it's a game it's like children playing a game but it's not a game where like people like mind games right it's not like that on the contrary I sense that this is a very healthy playful childlike really this sensation of like being young again and like um, really having someone that you look up to uh, that you feel uh, means the world to you I mean they have the Sun right so it's like, for you, um, well, first of all, they attract you, um, you know, in more than one ways, you have the Ace of Wands, but this attraction is like from, from being candid. Because I believe this person to be very open, right? I think this person is quite relatable, actually. They have also, I'm going to show you the cards now. So the Sun, the Queen of Wands in reverse, the King of Pentacles. They have the Knight of Cups, the Nine of Cups, sorry. The Lovers in reverse, Two of Cups in reverse. And the ten of swords in reverse so what i like is this for me this energy of the nine of cups with the sun this person is extremely jovial they're very um i can hear them laugh really loud the kind of person that has a very frank laugh you know like very uh, contagious And I think that they're somewhat childlike um, in the sense that they they like to they like to have fun. You know, this this energy is is all about even the sun, right? Both of them. They want to have fun in life. They do the things that they love. Just like when you know the idea of like when you're younger. You don't think about, oh, should I do this? Should I not do this? You just do. You do what you feel you should be doing. And it's, children are quite happy that way, right? <laughs> so that kind of energy. I'm intrigued by, so they have two court, court cards on their side. They could be one of them, but I sense this to be different on their end um, because they have the lovers and the two of cups in reverse. So 
I believe that they were um, previously married and that they've had a very clear disconnect um, which they're overcoming here with the Ten of Swords in reverse. And I think that that's why also there's true physical children from this marriage that are quote unquote in between the two of you. It doesn't have to be that they are impeding anything really, like an obstacle, but it changes things, it changes the, it's a game changer um, in this game of love where you don't have the same freedom as if there was, you know, no ex and, you know, the children uh, from that marriage which become a responsibility which you have to handle, right, to a degree. Um, they become part of, eventually, if you are to be uh, in, this, uh, in a relationship with this person, it's easy to imagine, uh, to imagine um, that you'd maybe want to be liked by these children, um, make sure that you have a harmonious uh, rapport to make this a, a, a full uh, relationship like he, it feels obvious what I'm saying but I am tr I believe some people don't think like that um, but I think most people do. So it doesn't matter uh, which one of the two, uh, without being gender specific, right? You can really see um, that this was a couple. So I don't know if your person embodies the King of Pentacles versus the Queen of Wands. I'm tempted to say Capricorn that it's uh, more the King of Pentacles because he's upright simply on that basis. Um, but you, you know, right? In the end, uh, you know that there was a, a marriage, a past marriage. No wonder it's difficult for you to approach them. No wonder you are feeling like it's difficult to grow a relationship why it's difficult to even approach them and have a conversation, right? Um, what I like is the game of love in the sense that you have nothing to lose because you're feeling the way you're feeling and um, I sense this person to be, um, you know, hedonistic and with such optimism, you know, and energy in their energy, in their field, energy field. I think this person would um, easily recreate their life, you know. So I want to tell you, you have more than a chance. You have you know, you should really um, express yourself and don't doubt, don't, you know, don't doubt and don't diminish yourself and don't talk yourself out of it. But I am sensing you would have to make the first move with the judgment. It would be up to you to um, go towards this person. You're the one to rise up to the uh, occasion. But I think it's not a bad idea that you're waiting for the right timing. I can really sense that. You're very patient. <laughs> 
even if you're eager and like really like <laughs> like really wanting this to to get off the ground it's a beautiful reading because there's a lot of positivity um and you know it's true they this person has children because you know there's children attached to the sun card so this is definitely someone with children not everybody but a lot of people once you've had children right um i believe that it teaches you how to reconnect with that part of yourself if you were too serious in the past right um you cannot but see the world through their eyes really so this person would have the same kind of openness I believe towards you, towards a new relationship, recreating themselves. I think there's a lot of recreation energy here or just creation in general, right? The sun is life um, with a capital L. <laughs> Anyways, <laughs> so I hope you enjoy the reading. Take what resonates, right? And leave the rest. Um, please share the video, subscribe, but come back for more. Uh, I'll be doing more videos uh, during the month of August. Good night.